How do you decide uh, which sponsors to accept? Good question. Um, there are always lots of factors that come into a partnership with somebody. Um, first and foremost, does the brand fit? There's plenty of times that I've said no to brands that just don't fit and just aren't me, and I don't think it's believable to my fan base that, that I would be partners with somebody. So I have definitely said no, much to my ag agent's disappointment. Um, but uh, th that, always, that is always the first thing to consider. Um, then it's, you know, some, t some people want, you know, want the moon and they want you to work lots and lots and lots and lots of days for them. And unfortunately, sometimes there's just not time. There's really just not time to, to do as much as a sponsor needs to, uh, to justify their partnership. Um, <clears throat> and then for me, it's always, I've always found and I've learned this through, through, uh, through experience is having partners that are ready to do an ad campaign and ready to do a print campaign or a commercial and ready to use me because if they don't use me one that's that's a waste because you're you're buying the opportunity to do that and so when you don't then you don't get you don't get ROI look at that I slipped in a smart word um, or letters, I should say. Uh, so, you know, they don't have any return on their investment, and all of a sudden the sponsor goes away. So the best partnerships are the ones where they have a plan for, for, for media and for, for advertising, and then they start to get some return on their investment based on using my platform and my brand and my followers and fans to generate more business for them. So having great partners is, uh, is very important. Do you have any 